ओम नमो भगवते राम कृष्णाय फॉर सीकर्स ऑफ गॉड स्पिरिचुअल टॉक्स ऑफ महापुरुष स्वामी शिवानंद नाउ वी विल लिजन टू महापुरुष महाराज जी डिस्कशन on shri ramakrishna's remark this is the last birth of those who come here chapter 11 part 1 page number 31 place shri ramakrishna ashrama mumbai time january 28 1927 at night after supper swami shivananda was seated in his room in the shri ramakrishna ashrama at bombay most of the monks and novices of the ashrama were present one monk said maharaj we have heard that the master used to say quote this is the last birth of those who would come here unquote did you yourself ever hear shri ramakrishna say it Mahapurush ji remained silent for a while and then replied why it has been mentioned in the books that have been written about him monk what is the meaning of this saying of shri ramakrishna does it refer only to those who had seen the master and had attained devotion and faith through his grace or does it mean that this is the last birth of whoever has reverence for him swami shivananda his words meant both whoever has deep regard for shri ramakrishna is sincerely devoted to him and has surrendered himself fully to him whether he has seen him in the flesh or not will attain liberation and not be reborn but self surrender there must be monk maharaj will those also be free who have taken refuge in him and have joined his order swami shivanand ji yes of course but true liberation calls for complete self dedication even to belong to his fold is it a mean fortune monk maharaj why we don't seem to be making much headway our progress swami shivanand ji my child what you have done so far and are doing now is not negligible without his grace even that would have been impossible how gracious is shri ramakrishna to you not for nothing has he snatched you away from your parents and made you renounce hearth and home it is because he has been unusually gracious that he has brought you to his fold and given you the opportunity to attain the samam bonam of life monk but maharaj we do not feel that the works we are engaged in have been very conducive to the development of the spirit of renunciation and dispassion swami shivanand ji whatever you are doing here is certainly his work and you are doing it all for his pleasure you are not actuated by any selfish worldly desire these activities of yours will undoubtedly foster a spirit of renunciation and dispassion don't think that a life of mendicancy in rishikesh alone will give you dispassion for shame you are certainly on the right track at present you may not have this consciousness but in the fullness of time it will grow and you will be established in it you will realize that everything is shri ramakrishna's and that you have nothing to regard as your own monk maharaj we don't seem to have that realization one cannot know peace unless there is total destruction of the ego in deep meditation we hardly have good meditation swami shivanand ji everything will come in good time my child believe me 
when I say this. This is the end of chapter 11. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ram Krishna Arpanamastu